Qatar delivers cancer medication and aid to war-torn Sudan. The GCC steps towards establishing a new joint news application. 500,000 housing units are being built in Nigeria. And finally, the football season is here and we give you all the updates from the Expo Stars League. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has delivered crucial medication and dialysis for cancer patients in Sudan, authorities confirmed. The delivery was part of a fresh batch of aid that was transferred to Port Sudan on board two planes from Doha on Wednesday. Sudan has been embroiled in a devastating civil war that has killed thousands of people over a span of just five months. As it stands, there appears to be no end in sight and regional powers have struggled to broker a peace deal to bring the violence to a halt. Now, the heads of news agencies from GCC countries have provisionally agreed to establish a joint news application project. The proposal was put forth by Qatar and will allow readers to access all official agency content from the six GCC countries using just one platform. Over in Nigeria, Qatar has started constructing a mass project of 500,000 housing units in the Kaduna state. The houses will be made available to vulnerable and underprivileged people in the region. The project also includes various empowerment programs, some of which include scholarships for orphans and children from disadvantaged backgrounds. And finally, the 2023-24 newly named Expo Stars League kicked off with a bang on Wednesday evening with two exciting encounters. El Wekra started off their campaign with a boom, crushing Maeda Sports Club 3-0, while last year's Emir Cup winners Al Arabi were dealt with a stoppage time blow. Just when it seemed like the dream team were heading towards a 1-0 win, Al Shemal popped up with a 90-second minute goal to end the match level at one apiece. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.